Hey guys, Johnny P777 here, bringing you the second part of my Eclipse DLC map reviews. And this one's all about Spire, because I think this is probably my favorite one out of the four. Um, just looks super good, super clean. Um, so I just had a little more footage that I you know, didn't want to squeeze into the last one. So yeah, this map is looks super awesome. I mean, look at that building right there, just awesome surroundings and go take a look over the edge right here super cool like looking over the clouds and stuff and um, but yeah just I really like the way it plays too um, little ships flying around there sticking up over the top of the buildings all the contrails or chemtrails if you're you know into that that whole conspiracy thing um, but yeah I, I really like the way the map you know, flows. Um, it's really, really super easy to get around the edges of the map um, with all the wall running and stuff, and uh, just the the details and stuff. It looks super clean compared to like Verge. You know, Verge is really like dirty and like everything. There's just so much going on through all the you know tunnels and interiors and stuff. But like this one's just. I mean, it's a, you know, it's an airport or something, you know, it's a business, you gotta, you gotta keep your business clean, but uh, just really futuristic looking and all the colors and stuff, it just really pops, like, I, I love it. Um, the stairwells, you know, it, it seems a little, not much goes down here, you know, I take that guy out, but like, not, not a whole lot goes down. I actually pick up, this first time I've ever used the HG40, I was super excited to pick it up and finally get it, I think, you know, I only get like one kill with it, but... You know, it was cool. It, it seems okay. Um, I hope I unlock it one day. Um, but yeah, I just get, I look the wrong way and get taken out right here. But uh, yeah, I hope to unlock it one of these days. I've um, been saving up for the next uh, weapon drop. I have like over 900 crypto keys right now. Pick up some uh, dual wielding marshals right here. First time I ever used those two. Uh, okay, I guess. But uh, yeah. Hoping to uh, get a good video of uh, supply drops. You know, it should be like in a couple weeks now, uh, bringing out some new weapons. If you know the timeline between the the last two sets is spaced about the same, um, I don't know if the older ones will become easier to get. I don't know. I, all I have right now is a butterfly knife. But yeah, I got a little shuttle docking right there, and it's just super easy to get around to the back side of the map. Just wall run and boom you're there and, and it's just easy to sneak around sneak around here to uh, get people from behind uh, a lot of people like to snipe in this area this guy has no idea I was there and then that's a good spot to just overlook the you know central part of the map um, but yeah just working my way around here uh, back to the stairwell not you know it just feels like kind of like part you have to go through to get places, not like anywhere action goes down. But yeah, just keep uh, keep getting behind these guys, and they don't really know I'm there for quite a bit. I'm just rocking them. Almost get a quad feed right here, but get taken out. That's okay. But yeah, um, just rocking the scythe here. Let me know what you guys think of these maps in the comments. Which one's your favorite? I think this is. I think this one's mine. Just looks amazing. Uh, yeah, don't really know what else to talk about right now. Just getting my gameplay in here. Got my Cerberus rocking right there, and uh, calling in my Talon. Get a little triple with the help of those two right here. A little three-piece action. Add that trophy system in there. But yeah, it just it just seems like the and it's probably just a bad team I was playing, but just the enemies are just like oblivious to where EMPs. I that is a thing I need to rock. I used to rock EMPs or like I'd have like a class um, set up with EMPs. I, don't, I usually don't run like tacticals or anything, but um, I'd have like an EMP class in case like you know equipment came up. But I'm always like used to using launchers in this game for some reason. But yeah, I need to set up an EMP class to take out some some stuff uh, here's the the shot that was you know in the first like 
uh, leak or whatever of a, I mean, just like the the attention on the windows, like those little hexagon patterns, that's crazy. But yeah, this is the room that was like on the, the first visuals we had of the maps and, uh, you know, pretty cool. Not not a not a whole lot goes down back here, just, you know, the the spawn areas, but, uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty sweet. I like going through this part and wall running on these little edges right here. Take that guy out. And like, so like I can go back, you know, the way I came, but then like if I see I'm seeing some action right here and I can boom, just like wall run on right here and go back into the middle of the map. It's just laid out really nice. I mean, I might've just had, you know, been having a good match right here. Uh, I think I go like 33 and six or something. Um, so it might skew my opinion of the map a little bit, but so far I've had good, good experiences on this map. The other map just, I don't know, not quite as good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Drop a like, a comment, uh, subscribe. Let me know like if you want to see a certain class setup or score streaks or you know go for a certain something. Uh, I'll I'll be willing to do it. Um, yeah, picking up the final kill cam right here with the scythe. Love it, beast. Kind of disappointed that they nerfed it a little bit, dropping the bullet count down, but that's okay. Still a beast. Showing off my only. DLC weapon, butterfly knife with dark matter, laughing it up at the others. See you in another video.